Your online grocery delivery, sir. I take it that you didn't mean to order 134 heads of lettuce? Finger slipped on the computer keyboard, maybe? Can happen to anyone. Oh, well, I guess you'll just have to conjure up some lettuce-loving friends. Have a nice day. Oh, hello there. Let me guess. You want to be a magician. Okay. Now the thing is, what kind of magic do you want to do? Lettuce magic? I like it. It's unusual. First, though, you need to decide what sort of a magician you want to be. Here, do you want to be a street magician? <laughs> Up magician. assistant. Traditional magician. Wise choice. Okay, give your wand a wave around the hat. And hey, presto. Again. And another one. to see some magic. Well now, let me see. What can I show you today? Aha! In fact, that wasn't it. Please, take my hand. Now, sir, if you'll kindly enter the hat. Okay. You watch me as I weave my magic spell over him. Calling 
787. Can 787 please enter? And... Oh, look. He's gone. Six for immediate departure. Can seven eight seven hurry up, please? Okay, 788, you're next. And as if by magic? Oh. Actually, that wasn't supposed to happen. Just have to wait for another magic trick. gentlemen, I come to the part of the show where I like to tackle the magic of the mind. Have any of you out there ever been hypnotized? May I have two volunteers, please? You, sir, and uh, perhaps you. That's right. Please be seated. Now, Look deeply into my eyes and let your mind go completely empty. I have noticed how you, sir, have a tendency to eat carrots, whilst you, sir, have more than a keen interest in nuts. When you both awaken, your dietary tendencies will be reversed. You will have become a nut fanatic, whilst you will eat nothing but carrots. Indeed, this will be the case until I utter the words Buttercups and daisies. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm afraid that concludes the show for today. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. And now, a chance for you to see a repeat of a film made especially for the Cashew Board of Canada. When you 
feel like a real treat. What could be nicer than a warming bowl of carrot soup? that beautiful field of buttercups and daisies. Oh, hello. Just calling to say there was something I forgot to say to you the other day. Buttercups and daisies. I'll be giving your squirrel friend a call, too. Oh, hello there. I'm just on my way home from my magic shop. Want to walk together? I've been thinking... It's about time you two performed a trick of your own. Don't look so worried. Magic should be fun. Here, pick a card. Okay. Show it to the audience. And then put it back. Now stand back and watch this. I'm going to throw the cards at this shop door. Your card, right? If you could see your faces. Right. Pay attention, everybody. Now, the first thing is to explain how the trick was done. I knew you were going to choose the Ace of Hearts because I stuck it out a little further from the pack when I offered it to you. How did the card get on the inside of the window? Well, it's very simple. First, you need to select a day where the wind velocity is just right. See? Simple when you know how. Now to find someone for you to perform the trick on. Do you know each other? Just one more little... 
little turn here, and there you have it. The cutest little balloon wiener dog for you to keep and treasure. If you would care to lie upon this table. Prepare to be amazed. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and goodbye. you've had enough for one week. You know, only about one in every 500 people believes in magic enough to be able to levitate for that long. You're the kind of person that makes my job fun. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 